obviously we see uh, the announcement that we're actually going to be getting Triple G versus Canelo free. Canelo, someone you've obviously fought before. What's your opinions on this fight? I think Canelo wins and wins well, to be honest with you. Um, Golovkin's kind of starting to look old, but um, I'd love to see Golovkin maybe win it because I thought he won the first one, but I feel Canelo wins and he wins well. And AJ Usyk obviously got announced at the second fight out in Saudi. First of all, what's your thoughts on the fighters fighting out in Saudi, Neil? Just the same as fighting anywhere else, really. If they, if they pay the money and get the crowds, then so be it. You know, it's just another country. It's like going to Mon Monte Carlo. It's like going to the States. I don't know, but I don't see what the big fuss is about. If they're paying the money to host it, then so be it. Joshua's now gone to Robert Garcia. They're moving forward with Garcia, Angel Fernandez. Do you think that's a good move? Yeah, I feel Garcia's a good move. I don't know about Angel Fernandez because he was there last time. Um, I feel just a point one, 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 one coach and his assistant. Um, I think that was the time for last time. I, I think Joshua moans a little bit about too many voices, but you know, you 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 employed three different coaches, Rob McCracken, Angel Garcia, and somebody else but I think Robert Garcia is a very very good coach and he, and he will he'll, he, I think he'll work wonders for Joshua to be honest Do you think that could be the difference in such a short space of time? Yeah maybe I think I think he just needs selling now Joshua you know you've got to you've got to stick it right on Yusuf you make sure you use your size and he never really done that last time and Yusuf was still marked up to fuck you know what I mean so um, I, think, I think I think Joshua can win but I think he has to do it to, to, to the right game plan and last one any updates on your brother Callum when he's here out next we know he's, he's positioned well with light heavyweight yeah he's on the Joshua bill okay. yeah and finally makes it to the WBC Chris Eubank Jr just um, it's, it'd be a massive domestic fight everyone wants to see that from your point of view do you think we'll see that this year I hope so um, you know I think that the question's got to be asked to Chris and his team I've, I've, I've said this since the day I saw him at Sky I'll take that fight tomorrow and Hopefully that can be made, but um, you know the question's got to be got to be asked to Chris now. He, he's he's quite quiet on the on the situation, but you know we'll wait and see. From your understanding, if the fight was to be made, what weight would it be made at? Um, it depends, obviously. You know, Chris, Chris has agreed 158, 157 for Kel Brook, so you know I think he should agree that for me too. If you can't fight uh, you babe, by the end of the year, are you still pursuing those titles at 154 going forward? Yes, of course. I'm, I'm still ranked number two with the WBO, three with the WBC, four with the WBA. Um, I'm, I'm still going to be pushing in a position to, to get a challenge at one of them world titles again. We don't know what the situation with is Charlo going to move up, or, but from your point of view, are you aiming for that Charlo? Because obviously that is the one big fight out there for the title. Yeah, of course. If I get in a position to fight as a mandatory, then he has to fight. But at the moment, I'm not in a mand mandatory position. So, you know, I'll, I'll try and get myself into one of them positions. But if the belts become vacant, I'll get a choice because I'm number two in the WBO. I'm three in the WBC and Tim Zhu's number two in the WBC. So I'll get a choice of either one. Tim Sue's another name that's been banded about with yourself. Do you think we could potentially see that fight? Because I think name value, certainly in this country, that would be a huge, huge fight. Yeah, it would. And obviously that's been spoken about for a while now. So I think Tim Sue's the same. He wants to fight me to get a position to fight for the world title. But now he's in that position. So he's not going to risk fighting me next when he can fight for the world title. He wins his world title or whatever it may be. I'm sure I'll fight him down the line. So do you think we've just got to see what Charlo does to see yes. how the, all the titles play out and how you can kind of position yourself most wisely? Yeah, definitely. If he fights Tim Zhu, you know, I'm next in line for the WBO. If Tim, Tim Zhu wins, I'm, I'm mandatory for that. It's just going to be it's going to be interesting, but we'll wait and see. Yeah, I'm um, excited to get the ball rolling again and, you know, it's time to a deal with boxing and Sky Sports, so it's exciting times for me again. 100% and everyone knows about the Sky Sports machine, Boxer are coming up with fresh new fights like this, a huge fight in Shields Marshall, uh, that as well as obviously the deal that they offered you, what persuaded you to go over to Sky? Uh, just obviously I, I, you know, I was a free agent to be, to be brutally honest with you then, I had a, 
a number of a, a number of offers on the table, and uh, Sky just seemed to to, to to sway me. And obviously, there's big fights that can be made in Sky. We're here today for the press conference for probably a fight just as big on the female level with Shields Marshall. Uh, just a quick thoughts on this fight. Yeah, a top fight. You know, two top women, two, two top fighters in boxing in general. You know what I mean? And um, two of the best middleweights in the world. And you know, I'm glad we're getting to see it now rather than later because the more that fights drag out, someone loses or you know, someone and it'll ruin it. So I'm glad they're fighting now, both in the prime, and you know, we'll see who's the best middleweight in the world. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.